If it isn't the people I met at the spring. Well, well. Ah, 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 well. Ah. Ah, let me see. Uh, uh, can I help you with something? What? But the magic mirror is a royal heirloom. And you say King Clavius gave it to you? Oh. Well, well. <laughs> Let me examine it then. Yes, this is it. The sun mirror. Ah, ah, a quite unmistakable feel it has. I'll never forget the first time I touched it in Argonia. But, oh, yes, that's curious. It's, um, it's lost all of its magic. Oh dear, I'm not being very clear, am I? You see, this mirror that you call the magic mirror is really called the sun mirror. But now that all its magic has been lost, you can't very well call it a magic mirror anymore. There was a bloke in a castle who said the same thing. That's why we're here to see you. Thought you could give us some assistation. Uh, a way to get magic back into the mirror. Uh, I remember hearing long ago about a spell of blinding light that was cast on the sun mirror. That's what gave it such tremendous brilliance. If the mirror has lost that magic now, um, perhaps casting the same spell could restore its magical properties. The problem is, I can't remember what the spell was. A spell that casts a blinding light. Oh, what a conundrum. Um, ah, of course! the Sea Dragon Spell. Just north of this land, you will find a stone arch bridging the straits. A sailor once told me of a giant sea dragon in the waters there. He said it cast a spell on him that left him blinded for a few moments. I suppose it's possible a, a bright light such as that could restore the magic to the mirror. You never know, it might just work. Try using the mirror to reflect the sea dragon's spell. Ah, good luck.
Thank you.